Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon family. Big up on yourself. And remember, if you want to become a member of the PNL Patreon family, just click on the link in the description below. Go over to Patreon and sign up. Over at Patreon, we show you some exclusive contents that we cannot show on YouTube. Also, being a member of the PNL Patreon family is your way of supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Trust me when I tell you, running this channel is not cheap. It takes a whole lot of resources to run this channel. And for those who have already signed up, enough respect. Now, if you don't want to sign up on Patreon, there's a PayPal link in the description below. Click on the PayPal link and go over there and donate to the channel. Alright? Now, yesterday, I received that photo. The photo was really an incident at Cornwall College in Montego Bay. The person who sent me the photo told me that the information that they had received is that a 7th grade student and some other students bet $100 that he, the 7th grader, could jump from an upper floor of the building. And yes, I am talking about 100 Jamaican dollars. Now, if that sound weird or impossible to you, it means you don't really know what is happening in our schools in Jamaica. These youngsters, them bet money for everything in schools. Well, yesterday afternoon, I received that WhatsApp message from a parent of a student at Cornwall College. It says, To all stakeholders, from Michael Ellis, principal, re-incident at school. At approximately 11.40 today, that's yesterday, a regrettable situation occurred at the school. A grade 7 student jumped from the first floor of the industrial arts building. According to him, and this is what the principal is saying, the youngster told him or told somebody else. The principal said, according to him, his money <laughs> fell. And in an effort to recover same before anyone else could, he jumped, hoping that by doing so, it would be shorter than using the stairs. He was assisted to the nursing station by the security officer and the cadets. While there, he received first aid treatment. His parents were informed and the ambulance was called. He was subsequently accompanied by his father to the hospital. The preliminary assessment does not indicate any serious injury or broken bones. However, we are awaiting the results of the x-ray to determine his true condition signed by michael ellis principal <laughs> well <laughs> do you think this seventh grader would tell the principal the truth or tell any other teacher the truth let's hope that this seventh grader he will be okay <laughs> boy may i tell you now last night dj kentucky the man who is facing sexual assault charges he went live on facebook in case you missed it, he has created a new page named Jermaine Stewart, which he did the live on. You can go over there and watch it for yourself. Now, there were persons who were saying that DJ Kentucky, he shouldn't have done the live, but I would never ever say that. I am sure DJ Kentucky, him have a lawyer, and as long as the court does not put a gag order on him, he is within his rights to do or say what he wants as long as he's not breaching the law dj kentucky he also said this <laughs> watch this you see me you yeah, tell papa and all of them you know what i mean the same one name sir p and a couple of them let's make them know because them quick fish here the okay. them quick fish as they lose off by dj brother you don't know me me never cut a deal Half of them say no lose off I DJ. You guys don't even know me. Only, me only never talk yet. You know, come on and dance and say me f*** up and cut down my business. Me only, only not know me nothing about me. So if you lose off, you if you lose off. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be rude to none of them. I'm just going to tell them to suck on my mama. Simple. I'm not going to be rude to none of them. 
Glad to get that from me. You lose that for me. Dog, come on, man. I do that, die. So I see if it's a yes, I'm a chap of a boy and I can't tell me the same thing. But you don't know. No one don't know how, how, how my temper be, how kind maybe as an individual. Because you don't want to see that. <laughs> DJ Kentucky, bless up yourself. It is not personal. You are still one of the best selectors around in my book. And if it is true that you were robbed of $5 million, I am hoping that the culprit is held and sent to prison. All right? Now, talking about sexual offense, four police constables attached to the St. Elizabeth OST is now in police custody. Now, I am almost sure that OST is the acronym for Operational Support Team or something like that. So, here are the allegations. The four police officers, they were out on patrol in St. Elizabeth last night when they signaled the car to stop. This car was being driven by a lady and it had on DC plates. Now, DC plates are issued to car dealers. So, say for example, a newly imported car is on a car lot and for any reason, it is to be driven on the road. The car dealer is allowed to attach the plates on the car and legally drive it on the road. I am also sure that there are other stipulations as far as attaching a DC plate to your car is concerned well what i am learning is that this lady she was driving this car with the dc plates affixed the allegations are that the four policemen they demanded money from this lady it is said that she told them that she only had seven thousand dollars on her it is said that the policemen they demanded more money and they accompanied this female to an atm in black river where she tried to draw some more money, but she was unsuccessful. It is further alleged that one of the constables, he took her to a supermarket in Black River, where he used her ATM card to buy some items in the supermarket. He then took her to the back of the supermarket, where he did you-know-what with her, against her will and consent. It is said that this policeman, he threatened the lady that if she tell anybody, him go kill her. The lady, she was then allowed to leave. Well, the lady, we are told that she drove straight to the Santa Cruz police station where she made a report. All four police officers, they were taken into police custody. We are watching this one and we'll soon be telling you who these four policemen are. <clears throat> Boy, may I tell you, like my virgin Sir P and politics watch, always say, Jamaica is surely a Netflix series. Just when you thought you have heard it all, <laughs> something else happened. Boy, may I tell you. Now, in this next story, a lead ramp agent employed to the Sangster International Airport, he was taken into police custody on Sunday, January 29, 2023. He was arrested and charged for breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act. This ramp attendant, his name is Jeremy Scott. He is 33 years old and he's living at Grenada Court in Cornwall Courts in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. So this is what we are learning. Members of the contraband enforcement team attached to the airport, they were conducting an operation on the ramp at the airport when Jeremy, he was seen in the restroom. It is alleged that he was carrying a raincoat. The raincoat was searched and in the raincoat, Pockets. Four rectangular shaped parcels made with masking tape were found. The parcels, they were owned and they were found to contain the white powdery substance. You know what I'm talking about, right? It is said that the four parcels weighed about five and a half pounds. As a result, Jeremy and Scott, he was arrested and charged for possession of, dealing in and attempting to export the white powdery stuff. So, Jeremy, he'll be going to the courts shortly. Ah, boy. This next incident took place yesterday afternoon. Monday, January 30, 2023, about 3 o'clock. It took place at Seaview Heights in Flankers in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a team of police officers acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at a house and bingo. 
27 rounds of point four zero cartridges were found in a sax in the house. A man who was at the house at the time, he was arrested and charged by the police. His name is Albert Dobson, but he's popularly known as Kiddy. Kiddy is 34 years old and he's living at Seaview Heights in Flankers. So, Kiddy, he'll be going to the courts shortly. We are also learning that the Coral Gardens police, they carried out a raid earlier in the day, yesterday, some minutes after 12 midday. This took place at Harvey Beach in the Coral Gardens area. Five 9mm cartridges were found on the top of an old refrigerator. No one was arrested in connection with this find. Congratulations to the St. James Police for the hard work you are doing. Intelligencers, big up on yourself. Now, you remember that yesterday, I told you about an incident where a brother died and his sister is in police custody. That incident, it took place at Tucker Irwin in the parish of St. James. It took place on Sunday morning, January 29, 2023, about 9 o'clock. Now, we did some digging and we have gathered some more details in this sad story. So like I told you yesterday, Noel Demetrius, he and his 13-year-old sister, we are told that she's called Nolisha. They were involved in frequent disputes. Hear this now. Sunday morning, Noel, Nolisha and their 43-year-old mother, they were all at home when a dispute broke out between 19-year-old Noel and his 13-year-old sister. It is said that Noel, he started raining some serious blows on his sister, Nolisha. Their mother, she intervened and separated both of them. Their mother, she then sent Noel to his room. We are told that Noel's bedroom is at the back of the house. Noel, he was not satisfied. Satan took Noel and told him, Noel, go and go fling some more lick on the girl. A style she had tried to style you. Noel, him not take him other advice. He make Satan trick him. Noel, he rushed back out of the room and attacked his sister again. But we all know how Satan operates. We all know how Satan operates because while Satan was talking to Noel, he was talking to his sister as well. Satan told the sister, the dirty boy I go come back out, come lick you. Pick up a knife. So Noel, he started raining blows on the sister again. Nolisha, she make one joke. That joke, it landed in the left side of Noel's chest. And that was it for Noel. And all of this took place in front of their 43-year-old mother. Can you imagine that? It was their mother who rushed Noel to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, but it was too late. Noel, he was pronounced D-E-A-D at hospital. Now, <laughs> can you imagine? Can you just imagine? The pain this mother is going through right now. Can you imagine the questions she must be asking herself? Why may I tell you? You know, one thing I am sure. Of one thing I am sure. 13-year-old Nolisha, she will not be charged for this. Truth be told, Noel, he caused all of this on himself. Sad indeed. So, let me ask you something. <laughs> Let me ask you know, something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, this one, it took place right in the vicinity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church along the Mount Pleasant Main Road in the parish of Anova. And this road, I knew very well from I was a child. It took place Sunday afternoon, January 29, 2023, about 3 o'clock. What we are learning is that a 55-year-old lady, she's from the parish of Anova. She was driving a red 2009 Suzuki Grand Vitara. She was traveling from McLaren Gate and heading towards Middlesex in the parish of Anova. 
and reaching in the vicinity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. She was in the process of passing a white Toyota Corolla station wagon motor car that was parked along the left side of the main road. Now if you look on your screen, there is the car. It is parked in the same position. A young man named Darrell French. He is 24 years old and he is living in the same Mount Pleasant area. He was riding that 2020 Burgundy Special Edition CG150 motorcycle. So, the Suzuki Grand Vitara. It passed the Toyota Corolla motor car. Remember now, this road is narrow. So, in passing the car, the Suzuki Vitara would be encroached in the right lane. Now, Darrell, he came around the left-hand corner. And we are told that Darrell, him did a do road. Yes, man, Darrell, he was traveling very fast. Plus, he was not wearing any helmet. Darrell, and coming around the corner, he must have seen the Suzuki motor car because we are told that Darrell, he applied his brake, but he ended up losing control of the bike. The bike fell and slid right into the Suzuki Vitara. Now, if you look on your screen, there is the impact. Darrell, he received serious head and bodily injuries. He was rushed by citizens to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy, where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. The mayhem on the road continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News, News Link and PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. Criminals, they